Hey guys, I'm just not going to do an intro this time. So, how are y'all? I, I hope y'all are doing alright. Pardon the terrible gameplay. Wasn't really putting my heart into it, and I, I didn't think I was going to have to make this video. You know, I never thought I was going to utter these words. Y'all have already read the title. I'm, I'm single again. And initially, I wasn't going to even make this video, but I have to for the sake of transparency. You know, it's kind of funny because it contradicts what I said a few videos ago. Flashback. It, you get, you gain more courage to make the leap with time. You know, I'm, I've been dating Jack Battersby for three or four years now. Good man. I, I could. He's also the number. He was also the number one rivals of Ether player in all of Australia, which is pretty neat that he'd uh, hook up with a nobody like me. <laughs> Jack, if you're if you're watching, just just know I love you and I want I want to I want to keep things going for a long time. That one didn't age quite so well. Funny how things don't work out the way you want them to. Literally, what two three months after making that video, we split. Either he was already thinking about it, or it was that hard actually that hard for him but I'm, I'm gonna go into the details as of the upload of this video it will have been a month since said breakup i didn't feel it was right to announce it straight away and i didn't know i didn't know how to do it really though at the same time i can't exact couldn't exactly keep it under wraps because me and him were basically a package deal outside of youtube we didn't hate each other's guts it's not that kind of breakup it was more of a Let's be honest, a terrible attempt to taunt me to improve myself. Which, honestly, when you think about it, does the exact opposite. As you all know, I haven't exactly been in the best headspace and kind of been spiraling mentally for months on end, possibly over a year. And I hadn't exactly improved. I've been taking nothing but L's recently. Lost my dad, lost my job, lost some cats. We're still mentally recovering from the flop that was Maury the Magnificent. Nothing really looking up for me until, well, this channel started blowing up. It's like the only good thing I got going for me now. So I keep spiraling and spiraling downward mentally, and then I eventually start taking it out on myself physically. I can't really say much, because... YouTube might take down this video, and I don't want to do that. I, 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 was, I was miserable, and at the same time was also contemplating ending it all, because it didn't seem like anything was looking up from here, except, well, this. So I eventually mentioned it, and it kind of freaked, the means kind of freaked him out. He's like, no, dude, please, please stop, get help, etc., etc., want this to continue this relationship to continue get help and literally the day after he 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 dumped my ass <laughs> literally as i was gonna do as he said as i contemplate doing as he said and now that I, I i i like that's another reason to not get help because everything's just all downhill from there and therapy is it's merely a band-aid that doesn't really get to the root of the problem, you know, because it's not a head thing, it's more of a environmental thing and circumstances. It won't get me a job or a better living situation. It will get me a place I can make IRL friends so I don't have to rot and work all day on comms and stuff. So if I'm not doing comms or editing videos, I'm just sitting at home rotting. Because I live in a rural shithole. I really, I really don't mean for this to be a call out, but like, let's take it to the to its logical extreme. Like, what if that was like instead of like regular cell phone, that was like a full fledged attempt on my life, and then he split. Like, if I actually tried to end it all and almost died, and then he split that. Wait, like, what then? Would, is that. 
like that would not be a good look like if, if that were him going through what i was going through mentally i'd stick with him like i did throughout his own periods of physical and mental turmoil in fact he's probably been closer to death than i have i mean the dude's seen the void or whatever the fuck's on the other side absolutely terrified of the prospect of him be actually being gone and never waking up again but i stuck by him it's, i feel fucked over you know and it just really goes to show how people treat physical and mental illness interchangeably from one another like when it comes to physical illness it's all thoughts and prayers and oh we're all here for you and everybody's spending together to support you but when it's mental illness they're just people just avoid you like the plague since the illness is in your head it's like it's somehow your own fault somehow you're the problem not saying any wrongdoings that your mental well-being contributed to isn't your fault i mean you still have to take accountability for that like if you beat the hell out of somebody yeah you, you've got to take accountability for that mental health is not an excuse i mean i mean it's the explanation and that contributed to it but it doesn't excuse the wrongdoings just so we're clear on that front what really irks me is that we were closer than close i mean the dude was my boyfriend like goddamn like the closest you could possibly get right below marriage just goes to show that mental illness can destroy even the closest of bonds what makes it even more depressing is that he said he wouldn't completely abandon me after the breakup yet five days later he fucking ghosts me i'm like wow just just wow it fucking sucks like it just it's like you're on thin ice People will only tolerate so much of a degree of mental illness. The strongest bond I'd ever formed in my lifetime, just gone in an instant. Years of plans for the future, all the memories, just everything we've been through, just thrown out the fucking window. Like it never even happened. Before we split it, like you said, to reiterate, he said it was a hard choice to make, but given the circumstances, it doesn't feel that hard. You just, you were able to just oust me that quickly. Was it even real? I know it's terrifying. I know it's disgusting to think about, but like you got to understand and how fortunate you are to be able to run away from this when this is going on in my own head and I can't run away from it myself I, I want to run away too but I I can't R really think about that at the same time yeah it's possible turning the other way could prompt improvement but at the same time it could just make the person spiral even more like it's, it's a fucking coin toss Though from my perspective, it just shows there's a lot less to salvage. After all, I've already lost a fuck ton. Before I go, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I I don't know if I'm gonna be uploading for a while. I'm ju I'm a bit preoccupied with other things, and my hands are fucking killing me. If you if you actually watch to the end, I I thank you for sticking through the to the end of the video. That really means a lot to me, and I'm glad somebody was willing to hear me out. Now, I'm not going to ask for likes or subs, but it's really nice to see so many faces here on my journey. So many people sticking around to hear what I have to say. It's beautiful, really. Alright, I'm, I'm going to head out now.